there everybody welcome back to the RC garage today I'm going to be giving my final review on the RC decals chassis protector for the Traxxas Slash I've had it on for a few weekends ran it around did some stuff that normally you wouldn't do just to see how strong it really was um, as you can see it doesn't look that dirty I did clean it up a little bit before I brought it in the house there's a little bit of scratches, a few spots where the vinyl did break in these thin areas around these holes here. But for the most part, it held up really well. So the first weekend I had it on, I took it up to my local track and just ran it around the racetrack. And as you'd think, you really don't hit your belly pan on the track to slash too much because of the way the center of gravity is so high. I did purposely encase a double just to see if I can get the belly to rub. I did get a little scuffing from the clay. All it really did was kind of dull down the clear coat on it. Didn't really make any scratches or anything like that. Um, so I really couldn't test how strong it was at a racetrack. So I decided that the following weekend I'd take it up to the local crawler course and try some rock crawling with it. Run over some rocks up there. It held up really nice like I said the only spot it really was was right here around these small holes a little bit did break off when I drug it across some rocks but other than that a few scratches in the clear coat you know you can kind of fill them with your, your finger but you can't you know your fingernail won't catch in them so they're not that deep so the weekend after that I really wanted to test how strong it was, so I just took it out here in the backyard and bashed it around. I did get some footage of all this, but for some reason it it was corrupted. Um, I went to pull it off the SD card, and the SD card was corrupted. I had to do a full format of the SD card, so no driving footage. But as you can see, let's see if we can zoom in. That's just what I was talking about. It's the only spot that actually where it broke is right there. That little flap right there pulled loose. But it's a really thin area. And as for the rest of it, you can see some of the scratches there in the clear coat. And that's all there is. It really held up really well. I even wanted to test to see how just how strong it was. So I got a piece of cinder block here at the house and really went to town with it, just kind of hitting it, scratching it, trying to see what it would take to actually mess this up. And it held up. Even the the letters, none of the letters peeled up. There's no like I said, there's no deep gouges where your fingernails are actually going to catch in it. It is a really strong product, and I would recommend this to anybody that wants to protect the bottom of their vehicles. They do make it for a lot of the race vehicles out there. So just head on over to their website. It is rcdecals.com and check them out. And one other thing I want to show you guys before we end the video Is another product they sent me it's the chassis protector for the summit and they did something awesome for me they put on my channel's logo turned out really nice and they can do all kinds of custom printings from pictures of your family to your logos to your race number Anything you can think of, if you can email it to them, they can put it on a, the decals. This is the same material as the Slash. Same thickness, same clear coat on it. So I can't wait to get this onto the Summit. But that's going to be it for today, guys. I want to thank you all for joining me. And I want to thank you for all the support you've been showing the channel. And if you like this video, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to see more, then please subscribe. 
and join me back here next Thursday. See you guys next time.